So we are starting a vlog today, me and my lovely husband. And we're on the way to my mama's house. Take her back her clothes. She asked us to wash. Yes, I have started vlogging. Okay. Don't know what the hell we're doing. Yeah, well, you about to go to your mama's house and drop these clothes off. That's number one. And we'll figure out what we're going to do from there. Exactly. I like my hair today. You don't. Corey. Mm -hmm. You like my curly puff? I do. He likes my curly puff. I'm finally glad that my hair will actually puff. But I guess I had to actually be natural for it to puff. Hmm. You need to give me one of them. Uh, what you call it? <laughs> actually, I used to have cases like that until they broke and stopped working. Pretty much. I'm showing all of, all of YouTube my, my stomach. It is what it is. Rocking the lovely, magnificent marching machine t shirt from my lovely alma mater, E.E. E. Smith High School of Fayetteville, North Carolina, 1800 Seabrook Road. Only true band heads and true Smith alum know what that means. Mm -hmm. So, this is actually really weird because I don't know what the hell else to say. Hmm. I guess so, because Ezekiel is always last. Most of the time, it's never just a straight video. I know. You know what I, mean? it's I, not know I know, I know, I know, because I can tell when people cut this stuff off and when they don't. Yeah. But I just know Ezekiel is actually very funny material. We probably get a nice couple of laughs off of him if we can get him the yah. It's not hard. Yeah, I know it's not. <laughs> Boy likes to dance. <laughs> Husband. See, si, Senora. I love you. I love you too. So, me and my lovely husband are on the way to meet my mama at a bar with her drunk friend who needed her to come in with her and my mother is not drinking she's drinking water so I called my mom and was like where are you woman and she said I'm at the bar with so and so and I'm not drinking I'm okay I'm just drinking water I said okay I said, would you like me and Corey to come drink water with you she was like if you want to and I was like Husband, would you like to go drink some water with your mother-in-law at the bar? Sure, and, and I don't mind. Water is incredibly free, thank God. Amen. So, to the bar we go. So, to the bar we go. So, that's where we're on our way to now. It's to the bar to meet my mother while she's sitting with her drunken friend. And uh, enjoy some drunken white people. Please don't be offended if we have white people. Whenever we kind of get the hang of this, we can start like making up topics and shit. <laughs> like doing weekly topics. I mean, the people thing is just, um, that's what it is. It's, people, it's like a video diary. So you just, it's pretty much your own version of reality. Well, I, I will, yeah. And so you just act natural. Plus, I would, one of your conversations come and be act natural anyway, so it would be. But it'll just be the point of me making sure that I got to take care of them so I can catch us in, in, you know, in those conversations. Because, see, I don't have, like, a video camera with a tripod and stuff. You know? have it eventually. I mean, we can get all that. We can work on it. It's take time. All right, now, 
We don't pray this way. Okay. We're gonna go this way. Which one you gonna do? Uh, the far one. Okay. That's how they finally opened this side up. Shows you how long that I have been out of the house. They opened up the new kangaroo from where the old, uh, I forgot what the hell the. Sitco. Yeah, the Sitco white screen, babe. Okay. Uh, from where the old Sitco was. I don't know if I can get in the camera. Let's see. I don't know if you guys can see it. There you go. My grandma just sent me a text message. That's why my other video got cut off. Saying that my grandfather apparently is about to have a pure conniption fit because his phone has uh, cut itself. Knowing my grandfather, he probably hasn't charged his phone in a while. And he, there is no reason why he even needs a cell phone, number one. The old man goes nowhere. He lays in the bed all day long, 24-7, 365. Get him goes on. Grandma texting again, cuts off my video. So... I apologize for all the chopped and screwed d d d d videos. But yeah, Pop does not need a phone. Period. He does. He does not need a phone. I don't know why my mother bought him a phone in the first damn place. Yes, it was my mother's doing. Bought him a phone. On the way to far, passing the Ford dealership. Can't see, can't see it. Oh, nope, can't see it. Forward. That's where we got our truck from. Yes, we own a Ford. And I'm very much a Chevy girl. Ford was very affordable at the time, so. Tropical Motel. A hookah motel. And for those of you who are watching our videos, the Ho Stroll is a strip of road called Bragg Boulevard in Fayetteville, North Carolina, where in back in the day and even sometimes currently, get to that light, maybe you're gonna make a left, uh, where hookers and transvestites and the freaks that come out at night stroll. So it has been popularly named the Ho Stroll by Fayetteville natives. So when people come to visit or that are not natives like my husband to my city we have to explain to them what the whole stroll is because most people will call it that so yeah that's what that is we're gonna go behind the subway where that green gate is okay yes mind you no baby behind the subway only two cars up here. It's like a drug, a that, drug exchange. It's, 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 a, it's called the back door. <laughs> I turned around and pulled right next to them cars. Weed and crystal meth <laughs> up here, so. I'm selling crack, nigga. Where you at? The back door? <laughs> no, honey. You should have heard the conversation about the woman that I told you about. About the whole booty espionage sh shit that she was doing, blowing straws up oh, men's butts. The back door. No, that's not her. You sure? She was with the lady who, the lady that's in here. She was with her, but that's not what it is. What it is is that when we was in here, she was like, "Yeah, this." She said people fail to realize that the back door it's is nasty. is a nasty. No, no, no. She said the back door is a very sacred place. She said, yeah, the vagina is, you know, it's, it's always special, but the back door is something real special. I was like, you're too old to be talking like that. That's fucking disgusting. I, I found that nowhere in the Bible for her to be calling that sacred. Uh, in the Bible, it says it's a sin, but we're not going to go there because everybody sins. And I don't want to say anybody's sin is greater than the other. It's just that some sins ain't for us. Exactly. All right. We're going to go inside the building. I'm not going to keep recording until we get inside the building because that's going to be a little weird to try to talk to my phone like this. Don't talk about recording while recording. It just seems, it makes it awkward. No, it doesn't because the girl that we watched earlier did. Her and the buffet. I mean. And the baby. Did she say we are now recording? Something like that. We're about to stop recording. 
Yes. She said we didn't vlog all day. So I mean, we're vlogging now. Well, that's understandable. Oh my God, Corey, you suck ass. It's my first time ever doing this, so uh -huh. shut the hell up. Oh, sometimes he makes me want to pop him. 